Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is day 88 of devotions out of this devotional book. Let's get started. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the, the, the lives of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hands of the wicked. Psalm 97, 10. In general, we know God delights in us when we reflect his character. But how can we specifically re reflect God's blessedness? We can't take pleasure in the things that please Him. We can take pl take pleasure in the things that please Him. That means our happiness and joy should come in things God would call good. Small blessings, large blessings, spiritual blessings, God's creation, fo fellow believers, serving others, all the things are good. All these things are good, and when we take pleasure in them, we mirror the pleasure God takes in them. On the flip side, we shouldn't take pleasure in the things God de dislikes, actually hates. The Bible uses the word hate to describe how God feels about certain things. Proverbs lists some. Haughty eyes, disdainful arrogance. A lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a wicked heart, feet quick to rush into evil, and those who stir up conflict. When we turn away from such things, we turn toward things God finds pleasing. Those things from which we should be finding our happiness. My hair is sticking out today. Um, sorry, I'm like really, really tired. Uh, sorry. So, I'm gonna go over this again. We shouldn't take pleasure of the things of this world, and we shouldn't take pleasure. Sorry, my hair is. Out right now. We shouldn't take pleasure of the things of this world, and we shouldn't take pleasure of things that are evil and things that are not of uh, from God's of God the uh, things that are not of God's good. At the end of the day, we we. Sorry, God speaking to me right now. We should take pleasure in things that God has placed right in front of us, and we should take pleasure pleasure in what God has in store for us, and we should take pleasure in the things that that God that God has in store for us in the future, and. And we need to remember that our happiness and joy should be coming from God. From the thing, and also from, from the things that God would call good. Which also says in here, but. And we shouldn't take pleasure in the things that God dislikes. And we need to be turning away from the things that are evil. Things that are not good. From, of God's good. And when we do that, we turn toward things God finds pleasing. And those things from which we should be finding our happiness. Which... So... And when we take pleasure in the things that happiness and joy should be coming from from God that in all these and we mirror the pleasure God takes in them and we need to be
Um, I'm sorry, God is speaking to me today. Sorry if you noticed that there was a little bit of hair sticking out. I don't know, it's a little weird, but it was sticking out. I did take a shower last night, so it's, no. So please be patient with me, because God's really speaking to me right now. Okay. Hmm. All right. We need to turn towards God and we need to set our eyes on God and we need to be focusing on God. We shouldn't be serving the things of this world and we shouldn't be serving the devil and we shouldn't be serving the wicked and we should both. But we should be serving God. We should be serving God. And we should be... We should be doing what God wants us to do. We should make God a priority every day. And not just do it on days we go to church. Because anybody can do it at church and then just not show it at church. You need to show it every single day. And... It may not seem easy for you, but you need, if you're going to be a Christian, you got to be a full-time Christian. You can't be just doing it, acting like it at church, but then outside of church, you're just completely not, and you're doing things that are wrong. You're making bad choices for yourself. You are surrounding yourself with the people that you shouldn't be surrounding yourself with. I'm not saying you cannot be friends with people that are not Christians. I'm not saying that. But you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people that are encouraging you to walk away from God. That are encouraging you to, to go astray from God. Those are the people you should stay away from. Definitely. Because that will... But yeah, I gotta get going, but I hope you enjoy this full show. If God spoke to you, um, stay tuned for next full show. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, stay tuned for all my videos. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!